Hey guys, it's Noah again with another episode of Making Toys for My Kids. And this time I asked my dear husband, Chen, to help me out to create this super cool mud kitchen for our son's kindergarten class. Here are some of the things you will need for this project. You can see the full list in the description box. I'll add the full measurements and calculations for the wood in a blog post and also you could download my drawing from there. We're going to start by assembling the top frame, just like that. First we drill a hole and then screw the screw in that place. The first hole will make sure you will not wound the wood or make it split. Add two screws in every junction. It's a bigger project than we usually do and even though my husband did a little carpenter's course, we are totally immature beginners in that area, so take that in mind, but also know that if we can do it, you can too, probably. I used the Lean Green Bean tutorial as inspiration and I'll add a link to that in the description. This tutorial is a little bit different since the wood sizes in Israel are a bit different and I wanted to do two things instead of one. Then you should realize that working on a floor isn't comfortable and find a table to work on. Before you add the middle part, use a meter to make sure it's right in the middle, then add two screws on each side. Add the front legs on the inner side of the frame, my husband added four screws instead of two to make sure it's steady. It does look a bit messy, but hey, I told you at the beginning, we are inspired carpenters, so that's the best we can do. So that is how it should look so far. Now add the back legs on the outer side of the frame. Oh, and it doesn't hurt to measure before that that the height of the legs will be the same since we didn't have a proper table to work on. Yes, yes, I know, we added the back legs inside and I said outside. <laughs> um, yeah, we did it inside the frame instead of the outside. We will figure it out in a few minutes. Just wait. <laughs> We continued by attaching the lower frame, we measured the height we wanted for the lower shelf and then added the front and back pieces over the inside of the legs with four screws on each junction. And then I realized we made a mistake and attached the back legs inside instead of outside. So we fixed that and we decided to first assemble the lower frame and attach all of it to the legs. So to recap, after adding the back legs, on the outside of the top frame, go ahead and assemble the lower frame with two screws on each junction. Now attach it to the legs. Legs will be outside of the frame. And neighbors will come and be very impressed with you. <laughs> We live in an apartment, so we don't have a shed, a garage, or even a balcony, but we do have a shared communal space under the building with some grass and chairs. It's very lovely. And this is where we are working today. Anyway, we added the middle part of the lower frame, and this is how it's supposed to look at this stage. Okay, so the frame is ready. We're going to add now all the working surface and shelf and such. So, so far <laughs> we used all our two by nine centimeters wood, which by the way, I bought pre-cut because we don't have a saw. And now we're going to use our two by 15 centimeters. We will start with the lower shelf, take both pieces of wood and space them evenly. Then drill two holes of each end of the plank and add the screws, just like we did along the whole project. Mm -hmm. 
Let's add the front facing boarding. You have three pieces for that and we started by attaching the top one because it's going to be in line with the edge of the top side of the legs anyway. Now we measure where we want the two other planks of wood and then screw them in with two screws on each edge like we did on the lower shelf. This is how it should look like at this stage. Last part you guys, I'm excited! <laughs> I placed the containers that will be like the sinks of the kitchen, which I got in IKEA, and also the four pieces of wood. I spaced them and marked where I wanted each of them to be. Then I pre-drill all of them and then went ahead and screw them in. You might need to wait with the last plank of the front facing boarding because we had to take it down so our screwdriver will fit in for the screws over that edge. Anyway, it's fine, we later attach it back. Okay, it is built, so that's amazing, but we do need to sand it really good before the varnish. And when I say we, I mean my husband. <laughs> he sanded everything, especially the edges, making them a little round because it is meant to be a toy for the kids. When you're done, wipe the dust off with a dry towel. Time to add a varnish. So we used spray varnish and it was so easy and we are happy with the result. I picked a clear varnish because I like natural wood and our kid is going to a Waldorf kindergarten and everything there is natural wood so we wanted to um, match it with everything else. And we did two coats of varnish. For fun, we added two circles in the middle of the working surface so it will look like a stove. And I also had a few knobs lying around so we added them as well. Two as stub no stove knobs and two as hooks to hang towels or wooden spoons for cooking. You can also place the sinks now. And our son loved it. He immediately started to grab toys and play with a new kitchen. I'm so impressed with us. <laughs> the kids love their new kitchen in the playground. And so far it handled the rain and weather pretty well. It cost us 300 Israeli shekels, which is about $100. So that's amazing value for money in my opinion. And I really hope you liked this video. If you have any questions or tried it yourself, please let me know in the comments and hit the like and subscribe button on your way down there. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!